hey guys this is pure from shine electronics and today i am here to show how to make the led spirit indicator with kaido and arduino but watch till the end so let's get started for the project we should take some jumpers two breadboards one small and one big one here i have taken 11 leds okay six blue four green and one red and here i have attached a wire to give the connection between these two lines because if you look the connection at the breadboard then these five lines have the connection and after this here the connection is cut and after that these five have the connections okay so to continue the connections from here to here i have put this gray jumper these lines have the connections like this we have the connections okay these connections are not continued here here the connection is cut and the connections are continued here okay so here we have put the leds that is this led connection is continued in this line similarly the red leds continuation is in this line okay here is a arduino nano i am using you can also use the arduino uno the code will be the same uh, and here is the mpu6050 gyro gyro sensor so at first what we need to do is to mount our arduino nano and the gyro on the breadboard share with your friends and subscribe to my channel your subscription always keeps me motivated to make uh, all interesting projects and videos and also uh, i like so much that my videos are reaching to people and they are watching they are liking my videos my liking my content the code is very much simple just you have to include the library that is the wired.h which is the most important library you have to add this is the code i will give the code in the description box so before uploading you have to take care of one thing that is the you have to go to sketch include library then uh, here you can see the arduino libraries here you will see the where library here okay because it is given as you download the arduino software from the uh, web okay uh, as you can see these are the contributed libraries on the previous video uh, you have to down download the accelerometer adxl335 library okay so he, it i have downloaded from the manage library okay you can see here
from the manage library you can download the, the mpu6050 library mpu6050 enter you can see the adafruit mpu6050 is installed basic mpu6050 i have also installed and mpu6050 i have also installed after that in the tool section you should select the board as arduino nano processor at mega 328p old bootloader you can see that the port is highlighting and it is there is a check mark in com5 you must have this check mark otherwise you cannot upload the code the programmer arduino isp okay after all these controls you should compile the sketch after that you should upload the code to your arduino this is a common problem which you might face you can see i have put the uh, gyro flat in the in my laptop but you can see that the blue led is also glowing which is uh, not desirable so what you have to do this is a fault uh, while uploading the sketch so you must need to take care of this as we click on upload you must hold it like this flat and wait for the gyro to get calibrated you can see the red led glowing that means it is perfect that means it will now glow perfectly but if you are not holding it uh, like that you can see now i am doing the fault now okay i am holding it like that okay the code has already uploaded i am holding it like that so now let's see what happens the gyro is calibrating now after the gyro is has been calibrated the leds will glow okay so now let's see what happens as we keep it flat you can see as i am keeping it flat the blue led is also glowing which is not desirable okay so you must hold the gyro sensor on the breadboard flat while it's calibrating after, after uploading the sketch so this is for today meet you in the next video soon